in a spirit of renewal, lights the Baltic states, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, striving to recapture their national history. On August 23, 1989, almost two million people in Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania stood together, hand in hand, forming a 650-kilometer-long human chain stretching from Vilnius to Tallinn. It was the Baltic Way, a protest that touched the hearts of people all over the world and changed the course of history forever. This historic and iconic joining of people fighting for their freedom and their independence was the beginning of the end for the Soviet Union. It was also a sign for democratically-minded Russians that it was possible to push for change. Uh, that was probably uh, one of the most powerful signals, and it had an effect, of course, on Russians, uh, very much so. This powerful moment sent a message to the world, and especially to Moscow, that the Baltics wanted freedom and were poised to rejoin the ranks of democratic nations. People who could barely identify Lithuania on a map could certainly get that something important was going on when you have an estimated two million people holding hands. The world started to wake up to the plight of the Baltic nations and their long-suffering subjugation, which started with the secret protocols of the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact that divided Eastern Europe. The Baltic people's will and determination to peacefully fight for their freedom was their only power. And in the big picture, uh, the Baltic countries in Lithuania are, are relatively small compared to, you know, at that time, the strength of the uh, the overall perceived strength of the Soviet Union. So uh, happy, obviously, but uh, it's it's like a David and Goliath fight. It stretched across the Baltic states, and. To me, it was another demonstration that they may not have had the troops, they may not have had the tanks or missiles or artillery, but they had the determination to do this. And all of us, many of us, I should say, wanted to believe it could happen. It was the courage of the Baltic people to peacefully stand up to a vastly superior military power that helped usher in the final days of the Soviet Union. Only six months later, Lithuania declared independence, followed by Estonia and Latvia a year later. The desire for freedom became a reality when, in 1991, the whole world recognized the states of Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. And their place among democratic nations was solidified in 2004, when all three states joined NATO and the European Union and re-entered the Western world the long fight for freedom and democracy was won.